Hello and welcome to another Unreal Engine 5 video. In this video, we'll continue our uh, making our project, our uh, beginner third-person shooter. Previously, in the last video, we made the basic movement and input of the uh, character. Uh, so now uh, we will add the animation for the movement animation and the jumping animation also for the character. First, we need to import the animation pack. Uh, you can find you can find uh, an animation pack which is free from Epic Games. It's called Animation Starter Pack. You can find it in the uh, free section in the Epic uh, Marketplace. Here, add it to our uh, project and find the latest available one and add to project wait for it to complete loading and here we find it in our project here you will find uh, some basic animations for aiming and shooting and also for death animations crouching animation this path is very good for uh, making a basic game in Unreal Engine First, before we use these animations, we need to uh, retarget these animations to our character. So, first, we need to make uh, two uh, IK rigs, uh, one for each skeleton, and uh, a retargeting rig to transfer the animation. Let's make a new folder for our rigs. All the tricks. Here we uh, look for the uh, advanced, uh, sorry, retargeting. Uh, we look for the IK rig. The first one, let's call it IK rig underscore. This one will be uh, for our uh, character, for our uh, skeleton. Let's call it soldier. Let's open it and set our mesh. We use the male mesh. Here uh, in this uh, I carry, we need to do uh, first, we need to set a root uh, bone. This one, we always set the pelvis as the uh, new retarget root. Set retarget root here for the pelvis, and then here we want to add the chains that we want to retarget. First, uh, you can choose the bone here and go here and click add new chain. It will automatically uh, set the bones for the chain. This one will call pelvis. And add the chain. <coughs> now we need other, another chain for the spine. So we uh, select the spine one and then press shift and continue pressing on shift and click on the spine 3 it will choose everything in between spine 1 and spine 3 and go here to add new chain leave its name as the same as spine also we want uh, uh, this uh, will be somewhat tedious task because you want to make a chain for every bone and uh, not uh, every bone we want to make a chain for every limb, every connected limb, like the upper arm, the fingers. But you will not need to make it every time, because you will make it the first time, then you duplicate the rig and set another mesh to it. And I will show you how to make it. Now let's make another uh, chain for the upper arm. Like uh, I did before, we select this. Uh, continue uh, these consecutive uh, bones and then add a new chain 
then also for the fingers for the index fingers also for the middle fingers the pinky and for the ring also for the thumb uh, this twist uh, bones you won't need it but sometimes if you do not add them it will give you some trouble when you're targeting so i will add them click on one of them like on the lower and add a new let's change it change its name because because it will have the same name of uh, of the other uh, chains so let's left lower arm Uh, sorry, uh, left lower arm, twist. Let's add to it. Here, also add new chain. Left upper arm, twist. Uh, also for the I will not uh, do another change for the uh, right side because we can roll them from here. I will do only the left side then make uh, make the right side by mirroring the left side. So let's go also with the neck and the head. Also for the uh, Lower length. Left length. So let's delete them and make them again. We do not need the twist. And the ball is not in the ball. We'll make them. Uh, uh, we'll make every one in its own, uh, its own chain. For the cloud, yeah, let's call it cloud. Twist. Here for the ball also. Left ball. Also for the side twist. Left side twist. Also, let's make for the IK. Let's make, uh, let's make them uh, separated better. Let's copy this. And also copy this name. Also for the roots. I'm copying the name and pasting it in the in the chain name to make it easier. Copying by Control and C and pasting by Control and V. Well, I'll also make this. Okay. Now let's go on mirror. 
the to left side to the right side mirror chain also here mirror chain here the same maybe we can bulk mirror let's start well we can bulk mirror uh, Okay, let's also mark mirror this. Okay, uh, for the left leg also. Uh, for uh, the left leg and the left twist mirror chain, we just uh, check the names. Okay, they have some errors, but they are correct. Okay, I think we are finished with making the chains. Everything has a, has a chain now. So, like I said, we go here and duplicate this IK rig and install this one manually. Uh, I don't know if the spelling is correct, but I think it's wrong. So let me check first. Oh. No, that's correct. Well, let's open this one and only change this to the mannequin. We we'll, we'll select the mannequin. Uh, that is the uh, that is used for making the animation of the starter uh, for animation starter pack. This one, this one is the uh, mannequin for the starter animation pack, and this one is the character mannequin. <coughs> uh, this one I do not need it. Uh, we use this one for the animation starter pack. Select it. Now we will make uh, an IK rig. Um, I say I, I mean uh, retargeting rig. Uh, animation retargeting IK retargeting. Let's call it my IK retargeting. Now open it. Uh, the source IK rig asset is the mannequin. Mannequin or this one. This is our uh, rig. And the target is the source. Uh, here we need to edit the pose for our soldier. Because like uh, you see, because the pose is not uh, the same, we will have problems with the hands. So uh, let's edit the uh, pose for our soldier. To edit the pose here, to so choose edit retarget pose, <coughs> and we choose the left arm and. Make them overlap. It does not need to be perfect, but make it as close as possible. So I'll go to the lower left arm. I think it's, this is perfect now. The same for the uh, right arm also. For the lower arm, maybe twenty one, like it. 
Really good turn. And the X rated zero. Oh, it is here. Let's try to make it the same as the left hand uh, or up. Left or arm was like this, and the upper arm minus fifty. We are the same. The lower arm. And control twenty. Well, now I think it's let's change the y. Maybe make it thirteen and the z maybe twenty one twenty two. Okay, I think that's enough. The same for the left, let's go for this. Left lower arm. And paste it here. I think uh, there's enough. Now let's see. Let's play one of the animations. I think now it's better. But uh, the pelvis is not. Uh, uh, correct, so we need to go here, choose the pelvis, and change the transformation mode to global scale. Now, it's perfect. I think the head also needs some correction. Let's find it. Let's try. Well, Leave it alone. Now uh, we go to the asset bra browser. Now let's choose all these animations by continuing pressing on the shift and left click. Now we have we chose the animation. Now let's explore the selected animations. Here in our beginner third person shooter, let's add a new folder called animations. And select the folder. Uh, I will add a prefix to differentiate these animations from the uh, original animations. Let's, I'll make it S. S underscore. Now let's export. Let's save. Now let's go and, and find our animations. Here, there are the animations. They are perfect. Now let's make our first blend space to show the animation of the soldier uh, moving. Let me close this and not use them now. Saving this, not it. Now, uh, here, let's make a new, uh, new folder. Call it blend spaces. Now, let's make a new one. Blend space. Uh, which is our uh, skeleton. Which is this style one male skeleton. Let's call it blend space underscore. Uh, I'll make it base pose because maybe we'll add another pose for every weapon if we have enough animations. But there is an easier uh, method. Uh, now uh, the base pose. Let me let me add. Uh, we need two axes, vertical and horizontal. In the horizontal, we we'll we'll call it direction. And the uh, direction will be from the minus 180 to 180. Choose this snap to grid. Also, here the vertical will be speed. 
This inputs the values in the animation blueprint. Uh, when we transfer the data of the character to make it drive the animations. Here also see the speed I want it uh, from 0 to 600. Also choose snap to grid. Here let's find the animations. Uh, let's find the idle animation. Let's find the idle rifle hit. I put it here in the zero position. So this represents the character standing and not doing anything. Uh, for moving forward, uh, this one. I make it walking. Let's add the walk. Walk forward. Uh, well, maybe jog. Mm, we do not have uh, jogging animation. No, we have the one. This one. Click forward. The jogging I will make it in the speed of the 300. Maybe we have walk animations. Well, we don't have. Let's see if we have run animations. Well, we don't have. Sprint. Well, let's put the sprint in V600. Uh, now we need animations uh, for the going right and left. Uh, we also need to add the idle here in these positions. Let's find the idle again. One here, here, here. And uh, for the jog, jog left and jog right. For the back, uh, first we put the backward here. This is the easiest one. The backward here, here the angle, the I mean the direction of the movement of the character is 180 here, plus 180 here or here is minus 180. This represent the, the character going backward. And here the 90 degrees represent the character going left and right. Uh, this one the right, I think this one the right, and this one the left. I will uh, try, I will uh, test it because I, every time I miss the directions up, you now we are going forward. You press the control and move the mouse to test the animation now it's running. And moving, jogging here, going right, going left, going backward. Now, <coughs> let's go and make uh, our animation different. <coughs> let's find our mesh or here. Let's make a new folder, call it MMDP. Let's open it. And let's make an animation blueprint. The skeleton also we choose our skeleton, the male skeleton. Let's call it MMDP underscore my, my MMDP. Okay, I will call everything more. Uh, for this, uh, this the prefix I always add. This is the naming convention for Unreal Engine. The, uh, if you sometimes if you want to uh, upload a project to the marketplace, you need to uh, comply with the epic naming conventions. Every big blueprint should have prefix like BP. Basically, it's the uh, first letters of the 
blueprint of the asset like here the blend space we will make it bs animation blueprint and bp blueprint bp game mode gm their controller pc so now let's go back to our blueprint open the blueprint let's go to the event graph here we need uh, to get a reference uh, uh, for our character First, let's uh, find begin to play. Begin to play and cast to uh, player. BP player. Basically, we are casting uh, to the uh, and uh, to the blueprint that is using this animation blueprint. And casting is. Basically, is getting a reference and uh, it's like loading the character, the player blueprint in the animation loop. So we'll have access to anything in the blueprint. Now we need to promote it to a variable to save it and use it where we want. And here in the event uh, blueprint update, this uh, is like the tick in the blueprint. Here we have tick in the blueprint, event tick, and this one is event update animation first we need to check if the player blueprint is valid to avoid any errors sometimes the animation blueprint loads before the uh, player blueprint so you will have errors now what we need we need to calculate the direction and the speed of the character the speed is simple we get velocity get velocity this one and the we get the length of the this velocity vector uh, get length sorry vector length For the vector length, I will choose length x, y. I do not want the, the z. I do not want the length to get the z in uh, in consideration because this uh, will make your speed go up even when you are jumping or falling. Uh, if you are falling only from above to ground and not moving forward or sideways, the uh, <coughs> the velocity will calculate your speed but I do not want the vertical speed I only want the horizontal to calculate the movement of the uh, character here we want to pro promote this to a variable called speed now we need to calculate the direction there is also a note, simple note for the, uh, calculating the direction Call it, it's called the uh, Calculate direction. This one here we need uh, the velocity, we already have the velocity here, and the base rotation gets after rotation and connect it here. Now it is that simple. Promote this to a variable, call it direction. Also here. Now we are finished with, uh, with the basics of uh, the animation. Now we go to the anim graph to implement our animation. First, we make a new state machine. State machine. Let's call it uh, base pose. Well, state machine. Uh, it's like uh, well, it's like a container that uh, has different states, and uh, it uh, transition between these states based on some conditions, like the speed of the uh, character, or sometimes some booleans you will add later. Maybe you are crouching, you will change the uh, pose to crouching, or sometimes jumping. Based on the, pay of the uh, character of the jumping or not. Now we need to save this pose to be able to use it anywhere in the blueprint. Save cache pose. 
also call it base code now let's open the base pose and drag an arrow to add a state let's call it uh, idle idle run open the state now let's add our blend space here and let's add the speed and the direction okay uh, let's go back to the enemy graph and get this base pose use cache pose base pose and connect it here now we have the basic animation or the movement animation now let's go back to our blueprint and select the mesh and here select the animation blueprint that we just made my NMDP now let's test let's see character is standing now we move forward it's running going backward well you see it's going like this because uh, the speed because in the 600 speed well this one i didn't uh, put any animation here because uh, when sprinting we will make the character if we go left and right uh, make it uh, we'll, I, I think we will make uh, we'll make new animations for the sprint or also we can use this the same this game here and here for the backward also use them here this will be temporarily until we make new animations yeah. go forward right left Go back. Well, I think something wrong with the animation. Uh, here, left. Oh, we put the right here. And left. Also, let me go back to the character movement and set the walking speed to 300. Well, uh, maximum speed. 300 and crouch to make it 150 now we have the character jogging forward now going left down right going backward now you see the character is snapping between animation so when you, let's uh, change something in the base pose here we have smoothing and uh, weight speed let's try to make it maybe 0 0.5 0 0.15 sorry well it's taking too much time let's make it maybe one now it's not snapping Well, it's slow. Let's make it maybe two. Let's see. Still take half a second, so make it two. Now it's changing smoothly between animations. I think this is good. Uh, I think we. The video is becoming very long, so I will uh, stop here. And for the next uh, video, we will make uh, some. Uh, we will make the weapons and uh, change the animations. 
according to the weapon you are using uh, so thank you for watching thank you very much goodbye